Trump wins major military victory, media covering it up. The media continues to focus on petty palace intrigue while ignoring the news that Americans really care about. The Trump administration is celebrating the comprehensive defeat of ISIS in Iraq. Lieutenant General Paul Funk praised Iraqi forces for their swift and decisive victory against ISIS liberating the terror organization's final stronghold in Iraq. Today's victory demonstrates we are stronger together, and this coalition remains committed to supporting our partners in the tough fight ahead as we continue our mission to defeat ISIS, offered Lieutenant General Funk in a statement according to the Washington Examiner. Iraqi forces with coalition support decimated ISIS forces in their Iraqi stronghold of Hawija in northern Iraq. At least 1,000 ISIS fighters surrendered to Iraqi forces after 14 days of fighting. With the liberation of Hawija, ISIS is only left holding a few remote patches of desert in Anbar province, Iraq, just south of the Syrian border. Iraqi security forces have taken Hawija city but there are still areas to the east that must be cleared, explains Colonel Ryan Dillon, a U.S. military spokesman. We expect there to be more fighting in the days ahead before calling the end to Hawija operations. Iraqi forces have already advanced to the Anbar province and have already secured the remote villages of Raihana, Anna, and Akash. Akashat. I expect that the remaining ISIS fighters will continue to be pushed east until they run into the Kurdish defensive line and are killed or captured, Dylan said, referring to Peshmerga fighters operating in Iraqi Kurdistan. We saw the same in the operations for Tal Afar. With American support, Iraqi security forces have liberated over 4 million Iraqis living under ISIS control while reclaiming over 16,000 in territory lost to ISIS. At a recent press conference, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson announced that ISIS forces were on the brink of destruction. ISIS fraudulent caliphate in Iraq and Syria is on the brink of being completely extinguished thanks to an aggressive new strategy led by the President, Tillerson said, one day before the successful conclusion of the Battle of Hawija. However, at the same conference, Tillerson scolded the Washington, D.C. press for focusing on petty nonsense while war is waging in the Middle East. NBC News reported last Wednesday that President Trump and Secretary of State Tillerson were feuding with Tillerson threatening to leave the administration. However, both men denied the report, which President Trump blasted as hashtag fake news on Twitter, adding that NBC News is now more dishonest than even CNN. That's really bad. NBC is hashtag fake news and more dishonest than even CNN. They are a disgrace to good reporting. No wonder their news ratings are way down. During his press conference, Tillerson, the nation's top diplomat, took a more diplomatic approach. Referring to the article as erroneously reported, he clarified that he never threatened to resign, nor did Vice President Mike Pence convince him to remain a member of the Trump administration. While I am new to Washington, I have learned that there are some who try to sow dissension to advance their own agenda by tearing others apart. In an effort to undermine President Trump's own agenda, Tillerson said, referring to the mainstream media. To wit, while the Trump administration policies continue to spread security and prosperity around the world, the mainstream media continues to level an ideological attack against the sitting government of the United States. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.